Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, we're gonna be covering Atari 2600. I've had a few people ask me about this and this is very easy to set up, but it will add to your LaunchBox collection tremendously. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're gonna need are some Atari 2600 games. Now I have mine on my desktop in a folder named Atari 2600. They are zip files. You can extract them if you'd like to, but I leave mine zipped and they work perfectly. We're going to be using RetroArch and a core called Stella. In my opinion, one of the best Atari 2600 emulators on the market right now. And I love that it's added into RetroArch because of the ease of use. So the first thing we need to do is download the Stella core inside of RetroArch. If you don't have RetroArch set up or if this is your first time setting anything up in LaunchBox, Jason and Brad have made awesome tutorials on RetroArch. I'll leave links in the description so you can go check those out. If you have RetroArch set up, let's go ahead and launch it and grab that Stella Core. So I'm gonna go to my LaunchBox directory, which is located on my C drive, Users, ETA Prime, LaunchBox. Go to my Emulators folder, and I'm gonna find RetroArch and start it up. From here, we're gonna to scroll to Online Updater, Core Updater, and scroll down until we find Atari 2600 Stella. Press Enter to download. When it's done extracting, we can close RetroArch. Now I'm gonna place my Atari 2600 folder with all of my games inside of it in my LaunchBox directory. So that's gonna be my C drive, Users, ETA Prime, LaunchBox, games. I'm going to drag it right in here. Now I know exactly where it is and if I want to transfer my launch box to another PC it's going to make life so much easier. All we need to do now is import the games and start playing. We're going to start up launch box. From here all we need to do is import our Atari 2600 games. LaunchBox will know exactly what we want to use as long as we have RetroArch set up. So let's go ahead and import. Tools. Import. ROM files. This is the ROM wizard. We're going to click next. I'm going to add a folder and find that folder I just placed in my LaunchBox directory under games. I'm just going to select this whole folder because LaunchBox is automatically going to scan it and find each game inside. Click OK and Next. What platform are we importing games for? Atari 2600. From the drop down menu, find Atari 2600. Next, choose an emulator. RetroArch should already be chosen, but if it's not, you can use the drop down menu and find it here. We'll click Next. Would you like to move or copy your files? No, I'm going to use them in their current location because I already placed them in my LaunchBox directory. Would you like to download metadata for your games? Yes, I would. I'm just going to leave search for game information from the LaunchBox games database checked. Next. Would you like to download images for your games? Yes. If there's something you don't want in here, you can always uncheck it, but I find leaving everything checked works out fine for me. Click Next. If this is your first time importing anything into LaunchBox, you might be prompted to sign into EMU Movies. EMU Movies is free to use, but they do have a donation option which will allow you to download more files per day. It's definitely worth it. But go ahead and give the free version a try. Click Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? Not for our Atari 2600 games. So we'll click Next. From here, we have the name of the game the file location of the game, and the extension, miner.zip. Click Finish. LaunchBox is now going to download all of our artwork and metadata. It could take a little while depending on how many games you're importing. There is a status bar at the bottom while it's running. My 27 games were imported successfully. I'll click OK. Over in the left-hand column, we should now have an Atari 2600 option. Just going to scroll through here. Everything looks great. Scraped all that box art beautifully. All you need to do now, grab your controller, make sure it's plugged in or turned on, 
Start a game. Missile control. I have an Xbox 360 style controller plugged into my PC. I'm just gonna press start. Now some games may be different for the Atari 2600, so keep that in mind. My D-pad will move my character. In this case, I'm moving an aiming cursor. And my A button will fire. To exit the game, you can always press escape on your keyboard, but if you have the premium version of LaunchBox, you can set up controller automation. Now I already have that set up. I'm just gonna press start and select on my controller. It'll close the game down and bring us back into LaunchBox. So that's it for this video, guys. We really appreciate you watching. I wanted to go ahead and cover Atari 2600 because I've had a few requests for it. Plus, it's an awesome addition to your LaunchBox collection. There are hundreds of great games for the Atari 2600 that you definitely need to try out. If you guys could, hit that like button and subscribe to the LaunchBox channel because we have a lot of great content on the way and you don't want to miss it. Like always, thanks for watching.